Hi everyone and welcome back to the Gluten Free Guru channel. My name is Tanya and today we are going to be making trout in a white wine reduction. So before you get started, you always want to double check your fish fillets and make sure that there's no bones left in. A lot of times if you get it from a grocery store, they don't clean it very well. Um, so I have already done that. And for this recipe, you are going to be needing a white wine. This is the tricky ingredient for this week's recipe because some wines have gluten in them. And because it's alcohol, they don't uh, put their ingredients list on them. So always double check on their website before purchasing. You will also be needing butter mixed with olive oil, but we already have that in this brand. So just this butter. Lemon juice, crushed red peppers, cherry or grape tomatoes, garlic, and salt and pepper to garnish. Set your stove to medium heat, and this will be the part where you add half butter, half olive oil, about a tablespoon or two. Right next, we have two garlic cloves, but I have some small ones, so I'm going to use four. And just crush that into the pan. Next, add the red pepper flakes and add as much as you like. Keep it going until you start to smell the garlic. Then add your fish. Add it face down and increase the heat so that you get a nice brown on the outside of it. While your fish are browning, you can cut your cherry tomatoes in half. Oh! I don't want to eat this one. <laughs> so I cut about 15 cherry tomatoes in half and now I'm going to check on my fish. Use another minute, maybe lower the heat a bit. Okay, so now I got a plate ready because I'm going to take it off so that way my wine can reduce a bit before I add the fish back in. Now add about a cup of wine. Add about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And your cherry tomatoes. And let that reduce for about 10 minutes before adding your fish back to it. So if you haven't already, salt and pepper your fish. Reduce the heat so that it's a controlled simmer. This is the kind of simmer you want to cook your fish at. One mistake a lot of people make when cooking fish is that they don't know when it's done and they overcook it and then maybe not so much with trout but with salmon it can get very dry. So after about 10 minutes of simmering in the sauce, flip your thickest piece and flake it open. And you wanna make sure that you don't see any of that dark pink that was initially there in the raw fish. You want it to be flaky, a lighter pink, and you wanna make sure you take it off the heat right then and there because it's gonna stay juicy then. Okay, ours is still a little raw down at the end. So we're gonna add it back for another couple minutes. 
If your sauce is overly reducing because you have thicker pieces of fish, you can always add a couple more tablespoons of white wine to it. Okay, when your fish is done, put it on a plate with whatever side dish you've prepared. We have sweet potato fries, but you can have a salad with it. Add that juice on there. especially if you made it with salmon instead of trout. And enjoy! Bon appetit! Mm, very flavorful. Great for people who don't like deep fish. Thank you for watching The Gluten-Free Guru. I hope you enjoyed this video. This recipe is nice and easy if you're just coming home from a long day at work. If you like this, uh, please feel free to watch any of my other videos and subscribe for any upcoming videos. Thank you.